Hello and welcome back. So last example we have discussed about shopping cart. Uh, so in this video we understand uh, a new concept that is uh, a nested component. Okay. Nested components. So what is nested component is a component inside another component. So as of now we have taken all different all independent components right so there is no connection between each component okay so i want to have a nested component so for example last class we have discussed the shopping cart example right so shopping cart one component you have created okay so in the shopping cart uh, i have taken a uh, four products so here is one and two three and four okay so uh, this complete thing is one component and you render everything in one component but i want to take a little optimize this example so how to optimize this uh, you can take this outer one as one component that is shopping cart okay and i want this one i want the each cart to be one component for example uh, when you see our shopping cart uh, html see here uh, this is heading uh, for here and then this each card is there no so each card code is this much so what my plan is instead of uh, you know writing this this code here uh, if you write a code like card uh, and everything and this code only works uh, this cannot be reusable because which only you know which is written in, uh, uh, shopping cart but have to use the same snippet in multiple other places if I required the same kind of card to be displayed in the components so what my plan is I have to take this particular card to one component and I have to pass on the data so what my plan is the so each card I want to take the product one component so all are this product component only so if that is the case uh, how can you display first of all how you configure is in shopping cart you can connect the product but one problem what you face is uh, in shopping cart actually we have a data right the data was there in a shopping cart component correct but uh, how can you pass this data to its child how can you pass this this particular data to its child is there is an annotation we use it that is something called at input annotation at input so you declare at input in the product uh, with a variable and that variable receives data from the shopping cart to here okay and as a parameter and that you can read it and display okay so let's see that example practically so what my plan is uh, I will create another component uh, let's right click open in terminal so let's say nggc uh, product okay i have a product now in this product ts file so i will be receiving so this indicates the each single product okay and that product interface i want uh, let me copy that interface go to product component and I'll, I'll have it here okay now here I'll say at input at input you declare space product of type product or it, it can be undefined if you don't pass and let me import this is from uh, angular score module okay so why I have declared this input product is this particular product object can be received from the parent okay so that's why okay and for time being in HTML what I do is uh, I write a pre tag expression the product of type JSON so uh, it, it, it won't display because I have not configured anywhere okay so now let's configure my app product in the place of this entire card so for example i cut this entire card 
I'll say the app product. Okay, I'll save it. If I say app product, uh, nothing has been displayed because nothing has provided. Okay, so if you declare a product with as a input, and how can this will get data as here? You say product your your attribute which you have declared there is equal to my product. The product which I am loop through that is this one, and the product which is able to receive in the app component is this one. So you will transfer this data to its child component here. So now check. See one, two, three, four. You receive the data, correct? Uh, and why does this four cards come? Simple. Uh, you are looping it right, so that's why the same component has repeated, and everywhere is having its own data. That's fine. And I don't need just a raw data everywhere. I want a proper structure. So what you do is, once you receive the product in app product, this is field. So what I do is, in the HTML, I replace this with our existing card code. This was there. In shopping cart, right? Too many lines. So I just replace with my own component nested. Okay. So in that, I kept it. So now what happens? Uh, it says fail to compile. I tell you the problem because you declared it as product or undefined. So if it is like undefined, you can't read the data from there. Uh, you may write a condition star ng if product. If the product object is received. Then you can loop it and display. So we know how conditionally you render, right? Like that. So now check. See, you got data. So simple, right? So now check. And now uh, this shopping cart is pretty clear. And I have replaced that entire card code with my own component. And how to transfer data from parent? This is the parent. From there, I am transferring to the child. And how you transfer is. You need to declare a property and what type of data you are going to receive. You declare it as an end input, and so that uh, it will pass through the parameter. So this left hand side value is the property which you declared as input in the child, and the right hand side will be the data which you are transferring to the child. The loop every element which you are looping and that's transferring here. Okay, and once you receive that product, and you can display however you want. Okay, so this is all about. nested components okay so that's it and for this video and let's see another concept in next video thank you